Hi, my name is Jesse at Trash Panda, and I'm currently making a fully recycled disc. Today is part four of building the machines I need to recycle a disc. So I've got an update on the shredder, and I'm gonna do a significant amount of work on the injection machine. Let's do this. When I started this thing, I was super hopeful that I'd be able to source a motor for cheap, even from a scrapyard. I ended up finding one at a scrapyard, and I cleaned it up, got it all wired, and even got it working. Unfortunately, with the amount of research that I've done, I've come to learn that the amount of torque I need is simply unattainable with this motor. On the bright side, now I know what I need, but it turned out to be a lot more expensive than I initially planned. So instead, I went ahead and just bought some recycled plastic online, and if I've done my math correctly, it's only gonna cost me about a dollar a disc for the materials. So for now, I'm just gonna do that. I'm gonna cancel working on the shredder, and once we have a recycled disc, then I'll reassess whether or not I need to build the shredder too. I really want to, because I want to be able to recycle my own plastic, but just being realistic and smart, I'm gonna put a hold on that. Now, I don't like saying that, because it feels like a fail, but at the end of the day, I want to be honest with you about the process of making these machines. And so, there it is, just being honest. So if we can't get working on the shredder, let's just crush the injection machine. First up, I did some research on the barrel and the plunger, and I was able to figure out that I had to source them online. I ordered two, and the good news is they fit perfectly. The bad news is that I didn't measure twice, and so unfortunately, the exterior diameter of the barrel is not big enough. And so, I've got a new one coming in the mail. Hopefully, we'll be able to finish that up next week. So this week, we're gonna finish the electronics box, we're gonna try to wire up all of the electronics, and give this whole thing a paint job. All right, we're gonna start with the electronics box. Now this should be simple, just a few cuts, welds, and a few tap screws, and it should be done. Let's do it. I am stoked with how the electronics box came out. Learning new things as we go, just got my first time tapping screws done with, and they worked. So that's a win. Gotta love learning things. Now we're gonna drill a few holes in the base and then give all of these things a paint job. Oh, also, if you have stickers, you should hit me up because this is pretty sad. <laughs> a second coat of paint on everything that I've painted and then while that dries I'm gonna go ahead and start working on the electronics now before talking about those at all I just want to say be safe and be careful I'm going into this with a lot of caution a lot of education that I've put in and tried to learn before I'm gonna try this so let's go ahead and just do this and then afterwards I'll talk about everything <laughs> All right, everything has been wired up for the electronics. I think we're right on point. I've triple checked, so I'm very hopeful. That being said, the next step is soldering because I need to close off some of the wires. So I haven't soldered since high school, so I'm not sure how this is gonna go. We'll just have to see. The soldering was fine, but now it's time to get these things tested um, and see if everything's correct. I am very hopeful. We'll see. Okay, I decided to put everything down on the floor. Um, I don't know if this is better, but at the end of the day, I didn't want it on top of my wood table um, with electricity and whatnot. So uh, yeah, we'll turn this on and see what happens. <laughs> That's 
and whatever. Okay, unfortunately these electronics are giving me a ton of trouble. Um, I, I think I have an idea of what I'm dealing with, but realistically I know that the best thing for me to do is just take a break and go do some research. So I'm gonna go do some research, see if we can figure this thing out. That's where we're gonna cut it for this video. Unfortunately, it is right in the middle of the electronics. I'm trying to figure them out. I just can't, and I'm running into some problems that are gonna take, honestly, just some research and some time. So we'll cut it there. We got a lot of progress this week. I mean, the base is looking super clean. The electronics box is ready for the electronics once those are all wired up perfectly. And honestly, maybe it's just me, but this black matte paint is just something I love. So seeing it where it's at now, I'm very excited about the progress and we're just gonna keep trucking along. So make sure to subscribe to see the next video and we'll see you next time.